In today's video, we are controlling uh, this solenoid door lock wirelessly uh, using these two RF nanos. So the uh, RF uh, nano is a Arduino nano uh, with uh, built-in wireless connectivity okay it has a, a, a built-in nrf 24l1 uh, i mean Z, zero one module so uh, now uh, we're gonna be using uh, this push button to control the solenoid door lock so uh, this RF Nano will be our transmitter, okay, the sender, and the, the one, the uh, receiver, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Now, I'm going to connect the push button, okay, here with a... Um, a pull-up resistor okay the push button is attached uh, to in d3 okay so, and uh, the resistor is connected to 5 volt from here and uh, that wire is the ground okay the button will be a toggle switch whenever I Press the push button, the door lock will go, uh, I mean, will open, okay, or closed, okay, depending upon the uh, the previous state. So if it was uh, um, open, okay, uh, if I press, it will be closed. If it was closed, if I press, it will be, it will open, okay? So, that's a 12 volt uh, solenoid door lock, okay? So, we're gonna be needing a, uh, uh, an external power supply, okay? Because uh, these guys, uh, work only uh, with uh, 5 volts, okay? 5 volts, not 12 volts. So, now, um, I need these three wires, okay? With here, um, three, uh, three pins, okay? That's the uh, VCC. Okay, like that. The other one is the uh, the ground. Okay, great. Ground and that's in. In is our is the data signal. Okay, the data signal will be coming in. Okay, in and. Yeah, we we're gonna see the uh, uh, the uh, outcome of this. Okay, so I'm going to connect. Okay, that's our receiver. So, uh, what is the VCC? So VCC is um, these wires. So it needs to be attached to pin to uh, 5 volt the middle pin is our blue wire uh, ground the other pin is let me see in yeah, so in is, is pin 3 okay d3 d3 yeah like that okay great now uh, my my solenoid 
we need to set up okay the solenoid door lock so the solenoid door lock for this one we need these uh, three wires okay first of all i need to connect that's the uh, the uh, plus okay of my solenoid and uh, that's the um, the ground okay the black wire black wire okay like that now i need as as i said before we need a 12 volt power supply okay that's a 12 volt power supply now the ground goes to ground okay goes to ground okay and uh, this wire okay this connection is to be um, so you can connect okay the plus of the uh, solenoid to to normally open or to common okay so it's up to you for me i can choose okay normally open okay i think i can i just i i'm going to open it a little a little bit more <laughs> okay done now i connect that to to normally open Okay, it's okay. it's fine. Okay, now the wire here I connect to uh, to twelve to plus of the uh, twelve volt power supply. So now I need to connect. Okay, the wire to to common. Okay, not to normally closed. Okay, I need to connect that in here okay but let me open that a little bit to have more space to yeah that's it now you close it yeah. okay nothing happens oh unfortunate that's a Unfortunate. Okay, let me try again. Uh, I think I was I was doing good. Uh, it's like that. Okay, it's like that. Yeah, it's closed. Okay, so that's fine. That good. I think we're good here. When I'll be pressing the push button, okay the receiver if you if you see okay that's our our sender okay our transmitter okay when i'll be pressing the button okay if uh the solenoid was closed okay was closed like like, like that yeah that's closed okay so if the solenoid was closed like that okay like that so the pin 3 okay the receiver is going to to receive the signal okay and uh, we're gonna be seeing is the signal on pin um d3 okay pin d3 is going to energize okay the module okay and uh, if it was uh, uh, so uh, then the normally open will, will, will closed okay and when it closed okay uh, the circuit okay is going to be completed okay or complete I don't know okay so 
the download we're going to is is going to uh to open okay to open like that okay to open now if it was open okay when i press the button i'm going to send the signal to the receiver and the the, the receiver is, is going to send the signal to d3 and the d3 is going to energize okay the the re, re, relay module and uh, the relay module okay and that the uh, the pin okay the uh, the pin i mean the uh, informally open will open okay if it was closed okay it will open and the secret here okay uh, these two wires okay they will be disconnected from each other um, so the secret here uh, will be open open okay guys and uh, the solenoid door lock okay will closed yeah will closed okay it will go like that okay guys so now i need to the cables okay that's the uh, for the sender and uh, the cable we need to plug in the cable for the uh, receiver like that okay guys so great now i need to show you the sketches okay for both uh, boards fine okay so that's the uh, the left a sketch is the uh, transmitter as you can see here you 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 need to install the rf24 library so go to library uh, manager and uh, search for r420 okay li library it's already installed for me okay and uh, then uh, we are dealing with the uh, easy easy button so you, you need to install the easy uh, button library uh, so here that's the uh, the byte ad address so the byte address needs to be the same in the uh, transmitter and the uh, in the uh, receiver okay so yeah that's the when uh, that's the uh, function is pressed button point is pressed the function that uh, is going to write i think the signal to the um, transmit to the uh, receiver okay the function and on my right side you have the uh, uh, these libraries uh, okay and uh, I'm going to provide the the sketch in the video de de description. So don't forget to include the the object radio uh, with parameters ten and nine, pin ten and pin nine. So that's the solenoid door lock pin three, and I uh, hear we have all these uh, things the door state here is here the beginning is false so zero uh, so when uh, the door state okay if it was one when i press the button it will be zero if it was zero when i press the button uh, it will be one so that depends on the previous state of the door state okay the variable 
over here up here so yeah uh, I'm going to provide the sketch sketches okay in this case in the video description now we are good to upload the uh, the receiver sketch I, I have an issue here the uploading the upload is taking time I, I think because I need to to go to pro processor and uh, choose uh, at mega at me this one okay the, the processor okay the bootloader bootloader I think so now I repeat the process and uh, it, it will be fine yeah yeah it's it's fine now that's the uh, transmitter sketch great yeah it worked okay the solenoid is closed okay like that closed now if i press the button okay it's open okay why because when i pressed the button i sent the signal okay wirelessly to this board the receiver and the receiver then um sends the uh the signal okay to pin i said uh, d3 okay and and the pin d3 uh energizes okay the re the relay module okay and uh, then the uh, the uh, normally open is now closed okay yeah it's closed now if i press again okay closed open okay. so don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay guys so Bye-bye.